mere mortals, like you and I, can understand how the universe works. This was realized long before the Vikings, in ancient Greece. In about 300 BC, a philosopher called Aristarchus was fascinated by eclipses too, especially eclipses of the moon. He was brave enough to question whether they really were caused by God. Aristarchus was a true scientific pioneer. He studied the heavens carefully and reached a bold conclusion. He realized the eclipse was actually the shadow of the Earth passing over the moon and not a divine event. Liberated by this discovery, he was able to work out what was really going on above his head and draw diagrams that showed the true relationship of the sun, the earth, and the moon. From there, he reached even more remarkable conclusions. He deduced that the earth was not the center of the universe as everyone had thought, but instead orbits the sun. In fact, understanding this arrangement explains all eclipses. When the moon casts its shadow on the Earth, that's a solar eclipse. And when the Earth shades the moon, that's a lunar eclipse.